Hi class! Today in our math lesson we're going to be doing some subtraction, some taking away. And that can be a lot of fun if you play some fun games with it. Before we look at a game that you could play, I'm going to go over some of the math facts with you. These ones are going to be pretty easy. Let's look at them. The first one says 3 take away 2. So I want you to think about it. If you have 3 and you take away 2, the answer is going to be 1. 4 take away 3, 4 take away 3, 1. 5 take away 4, 1. Are you noticing a pattern? There's a pattern with these ones. We have six, take away five, one. Seven, take away six, one. Eight, take away seven, one. Nine, take away eight will be one. Ten, take away nine will be one. And that's it, that's my last card. These are going to be so easy for you to learn today. Here we have four take away three. I get to take away one, two, three. And there's only one left. I have five linking cubes here. Let's take away four of them. One, two, three, four. How many are left? That's right, it's one. Here I have three linking cubes. I'm gonna take away one, two. When I take away two linking cubes, there's only one left. I know a fun way to play this. Why don't we try it with some money? Here we have eight, take away seven. Four, five, six, seven. There's only one penny left, eight, Take away seven is one. Here we have six pennies and I'm gonna take away one, two, three, four, five. There's only one left. Six, take away five is one. Class, I think it's gonna be pretty easy for you to learn these facts. Because we remember that if our numbers are only one away from each other and we're taking away, the answer is always going to be one. I still think it's fun to play with money. I think that you should get a partner and one of you be the top number and the other be the bottom number. So you have like the banker and the robber. It's always fun to play partners like that whenever you're using money for your manipulatives. So you could put out three pennies and your partner would take away two, and you could see how many are left over. That is, I think, the most fun way to do subtraction. Well, I hope that you have a lot of fun today practicing your subtraction facts. Goodbye!